Welcome YouTube to another Medieval 2 Total War Online Battle Commentary video. This one is a pretty unique uh, scenario. It's a no rules battle, it's early period, and it's a 2 versus 2. And conveniently, it's a Catholic versus Muslim uh, factions battle. Since I over here am in control of the Papal Army, of the Army of the Pope, my ally is the Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, really convenient as I said, and facing us are the Turks over here and the Egyptians over here. So everyone has just 5k per army, so that's why the armies are relatively small. Um, first of all, well, let's go in this uh, order. Uh, first, the Egyptians. As you can see, this guy has two Napatus, he's got four desert archers, he's got four dismounted Arab calf, and he's got his general bodyguard, so it's a pretty straightforward army. About uh, this guy, the Turkish guy, he's got uh, two Alan Light Calf here, another two Alan Light Calf over here, those are the real, uh, the real danger of his army actually. Those guys are fast, they can harass, they can uh, stand their ground in melee, they are hardy, so uh, pretty pretty nasty. Only one unit of, of Nafatun, but still nasty, I know what these guys can do. Then he's got one two Turkish archers, two or three Turkish I think only two units of Turkish archers, and two three militias. Uh, on the other hand, I am uh, in command of four peasant crossbowmen, of two elite bubble guards, of two uh, dismounted feudal knights uh, in the middle, uh, one nailed knights and one general bodyguard, and my, uh, my ally, the controlling the full Roman Emperor, he's got his armored sergeants as you can see up front, he's got dismounted feudal knights and fanatics uh, over there, uh, his general bodyguards and two mounted sergeants. So um, the, the, our opponents did the worst thing that they could, they, they could have done in a 2 versus 2 battle, they started separately, uh, me and my opponent, uh, me, me and my ally coordinated well enough to start uh, next to each other, but we didn't coordinate about who's gonna about uh, who we are supposed to attack first, so my ally just didn't want to go after the Turks, he wanted to go after the Egyptians, and I did not see a reason why I should go, why we should go up that hill, uh, rather than just uh, deal with the, the Turks uh, down here first, and then move on to the Egyptians, so I went over here, and uh, at first I set my uh, crossbowman to target these guys, because I know how, how just nasty they can be in a melee, although all one unit I don't think it can have such an impact, but still I I, mean, I didn't want to take uh, any chances, so um, except uh, uh, for his uh, Turkish archers, and they are just two units, yeah. I'm aiming at his general's bodyguards and at his Napatun, and as you can see he already suffered some uh, good casualties, so at least from my perspective good. Uh, his general bodyguards uh, and seeing what I did do over there with my crossbowman to his troops, he charged one. He's launched his uh, one of his uh, Alan Light calf units uh, up there, and I failed to react in time. I really m missed uh, that charge actually. Uh, I wanted to counter charge with my new knights and. Uh, uh, and uh, Popo Guard, but of course I didn't manage, I didn't, I didn't get there in time, this Alan Calf or uh, Alan Light Calf are really fast. The second unit of Alan Light Calf is just sitting and chilling right there. Right there. And he's moving uh, 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 he's moving his pure militias up, uh, up the hill to attack me. And let's be honest, they're not going to have a lot of attack. But on this wing, he managed to get another charge of my uh, at the, the other unit of uh, of uh, the smart crossbowmen that I had, of the smart, uh, of me, I mean of crossbowmen that I had, but I mingled them up, uh, uh, mingled them up uh, over here with my papal guard, and my papal guard got to those uh, Alan White cafes. As you can see, they, they managed to route them pretty easily, pretty quickly. Here, the Alan White calf managed to get uh, a charge at uh, at the at the, the papal guard, but they didn't fall down for very long, obviously, and I finally routed 
uh, his uh, his third uh, unit of uh, Alan Life Cap with my journal bodyguards, and this one, the fourth unit that was uh, right over there, I will pursue uh, with my Neat Knights so that I know that I'm finally done with these guys. You can see that one of his Alan Life Caps returned, but well, they're not good for much after they have brought once. And uh, all this time, where's the Egyptian guy? His right over here, making himself comfortable on this beautiful hill. And he's got a nice view on the battle. He just, he is just chilling. Why not? Uh, my ally over here, he brought along catapult, and he's well catapulting the heck out of that guy over there. And I'm just wrapping things up over here with uh, with the Turks, as you can see. This uh, Alan Lightcap, the last one of his Alan Lightcap, is still in the game, but that's about it. Now, uh, here he's got his Supreme Militia also coming back, uh, coming in the battle, so I'm gonna catch them with my, uh, with my proper guard. Oh, wait, I think that was the, that was the Egyptian general. And I'm bringing along also the rest of my army, as you can see. All these four units of uh, infantry are, are good. I mean, they're so uh, usable, definitely. Uh, my ally, the full Roman Empire, is is doing good pursuing these guys, but as you can see, the Napatan did some damage to them. So the Egyptian guy brought two units of Napatan, um, and two units of Napatan can be pretty dangerous. These guys are also not bad. Desert Chargers for early periods, uh, they are pretty good. They are good. I uh, bring along my uh, native knights to finally crush even the last, uh, the last piece of resistance uh, from these uh, uh, Turkish units, and so that I can help my uh, my ally, the whole Roman Empire, uh, against the Egyptians over here. Who, uh, have this little nice hilt up position. As you can see, uh, finally routed uh, the Turks. We'll see, uh, we'll see them again in this battle, and I can start marching uh, here and uh, just enveloping, start enveloping uh, the Egyptians. It's uh, while well, wrapping things up uh, at this point. As you can see, I got a nice charge over here. Things flying in the air. I think that was Arab Cav, I think that was the dismounted Arab Cav, they were starting to rout. That was a good charge, and my my meaty Western European heavily armored troops are also infantry are also coming along. Uh, by the way I positioned my my crossbowmen over here at the at the hill after I finished with the uh, with the Turks, and as you can see they are well they suffered a couple of uh, Hits by the Allen Light Cut, but they're still uh, at force, and this one's pretty much wrapped up now. Yep. And this, I, I think, this battle shows you how important it is to co coordinate with your teammate uh, when you play uh, two versus twos. Anyway, uh, I deployed uh, 570 men. My ally deployed 670 guys, and more than me, and our opponents. Uh, deployed 540 and 470 guys. As you can see, I got the most number of kills in this battle and uh, uh, captured and uh, prisoners captured. And if we take a look at how my uh, units performed, uh, well, the Nailed Knights performed pretty well, and the rest is well, just average. So, a uh, good uh, teamwork for the, uh, for the forces of the Pope. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this vid, and I hope you will stay around to check uh, to check some more vids out. Take care, bye bye.